Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be working with a resin. Big surprise there. And we're going to be making some beautiful bangles. So this is a little bit different technique than what I normally do. And today we're going to be using an epoxy based resin to make these bangles instead of my usual Bee Queen or my Easy Cast, which is a polyurethane resin. So slightly different technique, but I just really love these. I love like the sort of the two wave sort of effect through them. I feel like they're super beautiful. So let's get started. So I've got my two different silicon molds. These are from Barnes and sorry if it's a little bit hard to hear me because it is currently storming outside. Because these have been used before, I just need to give them a bit of a spray out with alcohol and then a wipe down. Uh, just because they might have like dust or dirt or anything in them that could affect the way my resin sets or they could have resin from a previous pour and therefore that would then set into this pour which I wouldn't want. And I've just given this one a good clean out as well. So I've let my resin actually sit for quite a while before doing this. And it's actually a little bit warm, which is kind of what I want. So I'm gonna pour my colors in. So in this one, I am using a, the turquoise ink from Barnes. And in this one, I'm using magenta. And that's from Barnes as well. Now the resin that I am using today is an epoxy based resin and it's the epoxy glass. And I'm filling it up three quarters of the way. For this effect that I'm going to be doing. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of white into each of these colors so that way I will get a really pretty pastel color for the last step. And the white that I'm using today is just the Barnes white. In fact, I think everything that I'm using today is from Barnes. So I want a really cool swirl to happen but this is only going to happen when the resin has started to thicken. If I add my second colour in too soon what's going to happen is it's going to either blend too much because the resin is going to be too fluid and I'm going to get that where I blend and I don't get that really cool swirl pattern or it will just sink to the bottom because this is going to be denser than what that is because it's got the white in it and white is a denser pigment. So I need to make sure I do wait for the right timing before adding it in. So I'm just going to do a little test. And it does look like it's sitting in the right spot and this is starting to get nice and thick and I can actually feel it thermal reacting and getting hot. So I'm just going to pour it all the way around. And because this one's a slightly deeper mold, I actually might put my powder pop stick in and mix it up a bit. and just push it down in like two areas or maybe three areas. And I might just do that here and then here. So because I'm using an epoxy resin and I'm not using my usual Bee Queen or Easy Cast with sets in minutes because I needed to be able to layer that and that wouldn't have worked for this because the resin would set too fast to create that pattern. So I've got to leave this now overnight. Um, 
just generally just because it's a really slower setting resin but we'll come back to it tomorrow morning and see how it looks so I have left my bangles overnight to set because we did use the epoxy based resin and it takes around 12 hours for it to set so it's just easier to leave it overnight and now I'm just demolding so if you did have a messy pour and got stuff over the edges don't worry because you can just pick it off after that's what's so great about using a silicon mold now the deeper your mold is sometimes the tougher it is to get your resin item out so sometimes you've got to put a little bit more elbow grease in but I'm so happy with how these turned out. They're exactly what I wanted. I really love this effect. It kind of looks like smoke going through the bangle or like waves. I feel like it's so pretty. So all I've got to do now is just give the rough side a sand with some wet and dry sandpaper and just polish it on up and then they will be ready to wear. But I am so happy with how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial if you liked it give it a big thumbs up as it really does help me out and lets youtube know to show this video to more people if you're new to my channel please do subscribe as i post tons of different art diy and craft projects and if you have any videos you'd love me to do please feel free to leave it in the comments below and if this is something that you would do yourself at home let me know and i also would love to see your finished projects so if you do post them on instagram please do tag me because i would just love to see them so much and I have something very exciting happening. I am launching my own online resin art course. So I get so many people asking me um, about doing this and I have finally gotten around and filmed it. So I'm super excited. That will be launching at the end of March. And it's basically like you're coming on a workshop with me. I do workshops in the Brisbane area and a lot of the time I get so many messages being like, I see that you do workshops, but I can't come because I don't live any wear close so now I have created this online course which is basically like a workshop and it's around three to four hours long I'm still editing it at the moment so I don't know exactly but it's very in-depth it's from absolute beginner up to intermediate and I do three or four demos in it so I show you different pouring techniques and safety and I just go over so much so this is everything I know in a course so keep an eye out it's coming soon it'll be here at the end of March